and welcome back to Food Juice. So today I'm going to be making Kronk's spinach pots from the Disney film Emperor's New Groove, which is one of my all-time favourite. If you've not seen it, please go watch it with your kids by yourself. It's an awesome. So in the part of the scene, that this evil plot, Kronk, these like the evil lady's assistant, but also he's the good guy at the same time, um, is serving drinks to the Emperor. Then the Emperor says... There's something burning, and then and he literally show, goes running to oh, a spinach pot, runs them, gets them out, and starts serving. So today I'm going to do my version of Kronk's spinach pots for you. Plus, on my Facebook page, I did do a poll to say to say either I make my spinach pots or I show you how I do pork chops, and the majority of you chose the spinach pots. So that's why I'm making spinach pots. So the ingredients you'll need for this is again today I'm going to be using store bought puff pastry sheets, ready rolled. In this bowl, I have two shallots, finely sliced, and one bowl, one clove of garlic. In this big bowl, I have 250 grams of ricotta cheese and 150 grams of Greek-style feta cheese. And of course, it won't be spinach pots without spinach. I've got about 500 grams here of just baby spinach that's just been washed and drained. Also, I've got just one egg yolk, one whole egg, salt and pepper, and today we'll be cooking everything in coconut oil, but you can use just normal vegetable oil or a scent-free oil, like a ground nut oil. The equipment you'll need will be a pan, a pastry brush, and your trusty spatula. So guys, if you'd like to come with me, we should get this. Right guys, so in my pan I've got a tablespoon of coconut oil so that's slightly heating up on a medium to high heat. I'm just going to let that heat up. And then we're going to add our shallots and my garlic to the mix. I'm going to add a bit in the time just to see if the oil is hot enough for us. Which isn't, because you want it to be sizzling, not... So I can hear now it's time to sizzle, so I'm going to get garlic and my shallots into my pan. As you can hear, it's starting to fry. So we're going to fry this off for about 5-10 minutes, because we want the onions and the garlic to go translucent. So now that our onions and our garlic have sweated off for about five minutes, I'm going to add my spinach and I'm going to add it, I'm going to add it for a bit at a time. And we're quickly going to saute the spinach off as well with our onions and garlic. So as you can see, the spinach is wilting down. This is what we want. As soon as our spinach has wilted down like that, when you turn off the heat, and remove. So that's our spinach mix done. So now we'll crack on with our cheese mix. So what we're going to do is get a cheese mix. We're going to just incorporate the feta and then cut it together. Now what I'm going to do is get our spinach mix. It still is still warm, but as I'm cooking these straight away, I can. But if you're not cooking them on the same day, I suggest you get this completely cool before you add it to your cheese mix. So 
rather than incorporate the spinach into our cheese mix. Now I'm going to season a bit of pepper. And a bit of salt, not, not too much salt. And then we're going to add our one egg yolk. The egg yolk just gives another richness to the cheese mix. So that's our cheese mix done. So what the next is we're going to fill uh, puff pastry sheets up with this mix and get the right guys. So as you can see, I've got my puff pastry out. I have cut it into squares. Depending on how we're gonna make these, I'm making these quite small so they're like canopy bite size. So how we're gonna do this is, get a good well, a bit of your ricotta and spinach mix. We're gonna place it at an angle. Just like so, we're gonna get that egg that we just beaten up. And then the edges, it's going to quickly brush. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take two corners, lift it and crimp. Neaten up, and that's what we're going to do with the rest of them. So it looks like that. So once you've one open, so I'll show you what we can get. So pastry, some mix on the corner, like so. Egg wash. Then we're going to lick, crimp. That's another one. edges, meet them in the middle, crimp it, so I'm going to quickly get these all done and then these are going to go onto a baking tray and I shall tell you what to do. So guys as you can see I've done different variety of ways that you can actually make these spinach puffs, I've done these ones here, the classic ones how Crunk does them, I've got one of these ones here that look like they are open on both ends, I've got ones here that are like parcels and then I've got ones here that are open up in the end. So now what we're going to do is get that egg wash and let's egg wash them all over the tops. These ones here, the open ones at the top, just do the sides. Do that with him, you want that nice golden brown colour. Then with these ones on the cone itself. So now these are all lovely. And wash this is going to go, these are now going to go into an oven that I have preheated to 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until the pastry is lovely puffed up and it's a golden brown. So I'm going to get these in. So guys, spinach puffs have been in my oven now for about 25 minutes and then for five minutes, just giving them the golden brown to work on then. Just taking them out of the oven, mm -hmm. left them on the cooling tray and let them cool down. You can eat them warm. But I've let these cool down, so let's take a look at them.
And here they are, my spinach puffs. So these are the, my parcel ones, as you can tell, lovely golden colour on top. Pastry is all flaky, the mixture is going to be all lovely, creamy, spinachy, garlicky. So these are my spinach puffs. You don't have to make them different varieties like this, you can stick to just the one one thing that I've made, how I just made these to show you the variety. So if you do have a bit of this mix left over, what you can do is you save it, you can buy, you can either make fresh pasta or buy pasta ready made, get a sheet of it, put that in the middle and roll up in tubes, you've got spinach and ricotta cannoli, and just put a bit of red sauce marinara on it, a bit of white sauce, bechamel on it, and then cover it in cheese and then bake it in the oven, fresh cannoli for you. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. So in my next video, I'm going to do, I want to show you guys how to do a pork chop. So you know the pork chop didn't come first. So next I'll show you a pork chop, even though it's not a sweet dish. I wanted to do the two dishes that were actually voted for. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. All the links in the description to my Facebook, my Instagram. I'm going to get a Twitter account up and running for us so I can tweet all these recipes out so guys from me chef lee hopefully you enjoyed this video and always let's keep cooking i'm out of here